All right, guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to fabricate your own fuel line. This is the plastic line going to the fuel pump. I made an elbow with a piece I got from the parts store. I use this little bending tool. They work wonders, but you can do it with your hands, as long as you got strong hands. Just be careful not to kink it. Now, this is what the old line looked like. It's terrible. This is what our new line looks like. This one's 5 16 sometimes it'll be 3 8 And what we're gonna need for that fitting, here's an example, that was the fitting end. You can take these double-ended ones, cut them in half, and use them. This one's 3 8 but it's just one that I have laying around. To get those out, you can see my new one. You got this green clip You're supposed to squeeze on them and it pops them out and then it can get past that little bead this one was rotted in there pretty good I had to take a small screwdriver I sprayed it with PB blaster real good started working the line I cut the I cut the line off the old rusty line started working what was left put a screwdriver up underneath these clips and got them to pop out and then I was able to take it out they can be tricky sometimes a little rotted in there so that's the chunk of line that I put in to connect to our plastic piece. Now this has some movement. I could put it right back where it goes. And then we got our 5 16 compression fittings right here. Connected a compression fitting there, cut out, measured and cut out a chunk of line from a spool of 5 16 line. And then right here, you can see the old, that's actually the old line, looks perfect. So it was only rotted from about here. I cut out a little extra to where it goes to the fuel pump plastic line. So all you do to install these compression fittings, I've got a bunch of them here. Here's the compression fitting. You put this on the line, then you put your ferrule on the line, and you just screw that end cap in tight onto the union. That's all you gotta do. Don't tighten it too much or you can crack the brass. If you're kind of wondering if you're tightening too much, just stop. And then after you get it together, you can start the car and see if there's a little drip, and tighten it some more. And when you're tightening these end caps, make sure you keep pressure on the line so that the line's bottomed out in the middle of the union. But this job took me, shoot, I don't know how long, less than a half hour. And somebody's already done the brake lines and they got them in here all messy and put rubber hose on the EVAP line. So I'm not worried about it looking too neat. It had a bunch of zip ties on it beforehand. So I'm gonna put this back into place where it goes and just use the zip ties. I think there was a few hold downs like this one that whoever worked on this before just took out. If they were still there, I'd put it in there pretty, but that's how you fabricate your own fuel lines if you got a fuel leak. There's the old line. Can't believe this was so rotted. And right up here, it's perfect, not a speck of rust. Where's it at? Right there. Our old line, that's the old line. It's not a speck of rust, but the, as soon as you got up to here, it was just nasty. So this job is done. You can fab your own fuel line, save a bunch of money, a chunk of fuel line that long, and it doesn't cost much at all. Compression fittings are like five, six bucks a piece. I buy them by the bag. Eventually I'll go through them. Easy peasy, guys.